Çelik tanımlaması katıda bulunmak amacıyla kültür mirası çelik teması üzerine yeni proje, projeler hazırlanmaya başlandı. Bugün öğleden önce e, Sayın Devlet Adana Sayın Devlet Baş, Başkanı'nda bir toplantı vardı. Orada da bir sunum yaptık. E, orada da inan edilir ki e, bizim her projesi olarak düşündüğümüz hazırladığımız projeyle ilgili e, yani bugün çelik e, kültür mirası kapsamında e, çareyi bu ay içinde yapacaklar. Demek ki önümüzdeki ay veya bu ay içinde de bir, bir e, kültür daha sunacağız. Proje daha sunacağız. Buna yani. Sayın Genel Direktör teşekkür ederim diyoruz. Şimdi konumuzu geçen yıllarda yabancı mizahımız diye anlatıyoruz. Fakat Romanya Timişoğlu Üniversitesi'nden geçen doktorcuyla Diorel Umbrella hem çok sağlık projesinde farklı bir şey olması, hem de farklı konulardaki sunumlarıyla sıklıkla Türkiye'ye gelmesinden dolayı pek de yabancı sayı var. Sayın Umbrella bizi bugün de yanlış bırakmadığı için teşekkür ediyorum ve çelik yapılar ve sürdürülebilirlik konusu sunumunu gerçekleştirmesi için Türkiye'ye davet ediyoruz. Uh, for example, reuse of existing built assets, 
designed for designed for minimum waste, minimizing resources and energy use, and reducing pollution. The principles of sustainable construction can be, um, or the principle can be summarized as follows. First, to understand what sustainable development means for you, your clients, and your customers, use whole life thinking, best value consideration, and high quality information to inform your decision making. Designed to minimize operational and environmental impact, where possible, extend the life of being by renovation and refurbishment. Designed for flexibility to extend building lifetime and for demandability to encourage further use and recycle products and materials. Enrich organization with your supply chain about sustainable development and select responsible contractors who have embraced sustainable development principles. The main factors affecting the sustainability of the construction sectors are the following. Construction, construction is the largest industry, industry sector and in Europe and also in USA and in the developing world is representing 2 or 3% of GDP. Construction provides 7% of world employment, 28% of industrial employment. Construction sector consumes 50% of all resources taken from the earth. Building and construction sector consumes 25 to 40 percent of all energy used. The built environment, environment is the largest source of greenhouse gases in Europe and this accounts for 40 percent of world greenhouse gas emissions. Construction and demolition waste accounts for 30 to 50 percent of total waste generated in higher income countries. So you can see a lot of factors from the side of construction that contribute to our, uh, our work. Of course, we, uh, we are here for steel. So let's see the contribution of steel to the status to sustainable construction. Steel as material of construction play an important role as component of buildings and engineering structure, structures and it is the most recycled material. From the total production in the world, almost half is obtained from waste materials. In the recent years, steel frame houses have become a choice for house construction in many European countries, including Romania. Of course, the industrial sector is having this role. Compared to traditional solutions, the uh, properties of steel skeleton can be exploited to take both technical and economical advantages from lightness of structures, ease of prefabrication, speed of erection, and energy quality. You can see here the industrial direct steel emission uh, from all uh, processes, but you can see that 27% belongs to iron, production of iron and steel. And the second plate is uh, covered by iron and iron and steel for industrial final, final energy use. If we are looking to the life cycle of steel structure, we can see that there are four major, major steps steel making, construction, steel structure itself, and end of life. Construction is related to the installed gravity, possibly of prefabrication. Steel structures Long, arguing for a long lifespan, steel frame can easily be adapted for new functional requirements. And for the end of life, we can see that 100% uh, recyclable steel components can be reused without reprocessing. I don't know if it's a very good feature, but in uh, the view of Arcelor, we can see the same uh, four steps with a lot of uh, advantages uh, behind them. So, first, the steel material is 40% of resources come from raw materials and energy from recycling, that means uh, raw materials and energy savings. Manufacturing process with controlled environmental impact. Steel is environmentally 
secular, material durability, and high cycling rate. For the construction phase, we have uh, the advantage of prefabrication, off site manufacture, and the use dry system. Design and life safe, uh, uh, service life, the weight reduction of structures, reduced consumption of materials and conservation of natural resources, thermal efficient new solutions, reduction of energy consumption in service, simply incorporation of renewable energy generation systems, long span prefabricated system, excellent acoustic insulation of steel solutions, longevity and robustness of steel components. And of course we have to look to the end of life what happens when our building will have to be uh, stored or demolished or uh, dismounted. The end of for the end of life we have easy dismounting, reusability, recyclability, and percent and in infinitely recyclable without quality loss, high recyclability rate. The provision of all goods, generally speaking, services and products has some environmental impact and sustainable development is supported by methods and tools which can measure and compare these. Environmental impacts include those occurring from emit, uh, emission into the atmosphere, the consumption and extraction of resources, manufacturing the finishing, finished products, transportation, consumption, use, and end of life work. The most widely acknowledgement consequence of this impact is global warming, used mainly by CO2 emission. But that is only one of the range, one of a range of reasons which can also include, include issues such as ozone pressure, acidification, and deforestation. Methods for uh, building, for measure of the building sustainability, are looking for the evaluation of the design and of the uh, effectiveness, performance, effective, effective performance of a building is always a very complex, uh, complex issue. So for building sustainability assessment uh, comprise three types of methods. System to manage building performance, the so-called performance based design, life cycle assessment called LCA system, and sustainable building rate and certification system. It's the last one, as you see in the refrigerators, but A, B, C, D, and so on. The economy of energy. The evaluation of DSA global events are based on assessment objectives, indicators, and parameters to assess. And we can see here environmental performance, social performance, economic performance, and all of them are linked to integrated building analysis and at the end representation and global index. You can see here the nine, nine categories and 44 parameters, uh, five for environmental, two for so, so society, and two for economic aspects. Assessment of uh, the performance of a building, so the life cycle approach. The most commonly used method for the, method for the Evaluation of impact is the life cycle assessment, which can be defined as the process of evaluating the inputs and the outputs of product systems and organizing and converting those into environmental things or category relative to research disease, human health, and ecological burdens. A life cycle assessment is a methodology for assessing the environmental effect associated with the product over its life cycle. The most important applications are analysis of the contribution of the life cycle stages to the overall environmental load, usually in the aim of prioritize improvement on product or process. And another application is comparison between products for internal or external communication. The environmental impact of 
building over to all life cycle stages of a building or other construction. As an example, you can see here the life cycle of building products starting, starting from resource extraction, manufacturing, on site construction, occupancy, maintenance, demolition, recycle, reuse, and disposal. If we are transferring this to steel, we can see that first we have to obtain the first deal from raw material extraction and we will have the material transformation, product manufacturing, product usage and recycling. So here we can close the loop. The phase, the general phase uh, that comes from code for LCA are the global art can frame as follows. The globe, to define the global, the goal and the scope, to make an inventory analysis and impact assessment. All of these need interpretation. Here is application, product development and improvement structure, strategic planning, public policy making, marketing, and others. Of course, every case we are studying has to be uh, uh, in the system boundaries. So we clearly have to define what are our boundaries in our study. As tools, we can find on the market.